Manene and Manene guys. We are about to experience anointing. We are about to enter into his holy Good day, good day everybody. Thank you for allowing me in your space. I hope you are back at work. The Lord has been so good. You and I, we have seen this year by the grace of God. And I believe with all my heart that 2019 is going to be the best year. You and I are going to receive the best from our Lord. It's the year of plenty, it's the year of increase, it's a year of victory. It's a year of connectivity. I believe God is going to connect you with strategic people. Remember the scriptural verse which I've shared with you. Jesus teaching his apostles, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press it down, shaken together and running over. The same measure that you use, it shall be measured back unto you. And he continues to say, men shall give to your bosom. What does that mean, apostle? It means God is going to connect you with people who are going to be a blessing to your life. People who are going to be strategic in your projects. I know you have big projects without big budget. Guess what? God is going to bring people in your life who are going to share the same passion, the same love, the same energy that you have to help you to accomplish your vision. I'm talking about 2019. 2019, it's your year. Let me ask you this question. Have you built a wall around your house? Have you built a wall around your heart? Recently, I've been prompted by the Spirit of the Lord to share with all my prayer partners or rather to study more about the subject of walls. Last year, by the Spirit of the Lord, I've been going around to all our churches talking about building walls and closing the gaps. I repeat, building walls and closing the gaps. Let me tell you, everybody's talking about walls and it is a natural instinct to build a wall around your family for protection, for comfort. You know what the Bible says. A man who cannot control his heart. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm shooting. Thank you. There's security guys that are disturbing me and I'm flowing. I want to talk to you. Don't mess up with me. Let, let, let me continue about the subject. The, the Bible says, a man who cannot control his heart, he's like a city without walls. And the more I study about the subject, the more I realize that there is so much about walls in the Bible. I'm, I'm, I'm studying about the history of the Bible. I'm, I'm, I'm reading about the walls around Mesopotamia uh, where elite rich people decided to build walls around their families. So that's where it started. But let me talk to you about this. Trump is talking about building security walls between America and Mexico. And he has been talking about it, that Mexico is going to build the walls. They've got a budget for the walls. And recently, he's having a problem with the, uh, with the American government. They don't want to sponsor. They don't want to pay for the walls. Huh? Have you built the walls around your family? Why, why do we build walls? When we go through trials, when we go through tribulations, we build walls around our hearts. Why are we building walls? Because we want to protect ourselves. You know, sometimes people take you for granted. When, when they see you laughing, they think you are innocent. They don't know you are laughing because you've built a wall around your heart. And how thick 
is your wall. And sometimes when you are quiet and you agree with them, you greet them, they think you are ignorant. They don't know that you have built a wall around your heart because you have been through a lot. You've been fighting battles without victory and you've been attacked and, and unfortunately you've been attacked by people that you helped so much, people that you loved so much, people you've been comforting, I mean standing with them through their trials, through their persecutions, I mean the wars that they've been fighting, you stood with them and then at the end of the day they turned their backs around you and you decided to build a wall around you. I love you with the love of the Lord. I pray that as you are building walls, make sure that you don't hinder the move of the Spirit of the Lord in your life. You don't build a wall around to hinder those people who are extending a helping hand towards you because you've been so hurt. Let me pray for you. I pray that God may heal your heart. I pray that God may comfort you. I pray that you may find security in Him. Because if the Lord is not protecting the house and those who are protecting the house, they are working in vain. Allow the Lord to be on the throne of your heart. Don't hinder the move of the Spirit of the Lord in your life. Don't hinder those people God is about to bring to your life to be a blessing to you. I pray that God may help you by His Spirit that the should be meekness in your heart because those who are meek shall eat the good of the land. This is Apostle Samuel Mukwena coming live to you on Facebook time. Remember, this evening, this evening, I will be talking to you. I will be praying with you. I, I, I'm believing God for breakthroughs in your life. I, I just received somebody, I mean, a prayer request from somebody saying, Good day, sir. My name is I won't mention the name. I'm married to... Um, I received your number from a colleague. I really need prayers. I'm dealing with something really demonic in my marriage. A husband who does not sleep at home. He's doing drugs and he loves alcohol and loves wrong friends. And he's a liar too. Both my kids, fees, are way behind... My son, who is going to metric this year, has not been placed because of overdue fees. I'm praying, I'm, I'm paying 2500 every month for fees, but they are still behind. We live with my parents because we need help. Mm. The reason I'm reading this is because I receive your prayer requests every day. And I'm, I'm willing, I'm opening my hands, my heart, to receive your prayer requests. If you'd like me to pray with you and to believe God for breakthrough in your life, my God is not a man to lie, nor the son of man to repent. My God is omnipotent God, all-powerful God. He's omniscient, he's all-knowing God. He sees everything, he knows everything. If you'd like me to Believe God together with you. Send your prayer requests to the Apostle. If you don't have my app, download it. It's for free. Apostle Simon Mukwena app. There's a link there where you can send your prayer requests so that the man of God can agree with you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Tonight, I'll be coming live to you. Remember, next week on the 19th, I think it will be Saturday, Yes, I will be having one-on-one -on -one session with all my prayer uh, partners. If you would like to have one-on-one -on -one session with the Apostle, please call the number to make an appointment because of a limited time. All right, the number is 083-449-1858. Just book to have one-on-one -on -one session with the Apostle. And at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to have a deliverance service. Everybody's welcomed if you would like to be part of that service i'm stretching my hands i'm inviting you come and be blessed i'm going to pray for you and release the anointing remember this is 2019 we've got to start this year with our god 
All right. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Please continue to share the broadcast. This is Apostle Samuel Mukwena wishing you double portion for your troubles. Double. Shalom.